All right, look. So you know acupuncture can treat illnesses. You know it can treat back pain, digestive problems. But can acupuncture deal with something so simple as helping you purely lose weight? Well, in today's video, I want to share with you seven science-backed ways that acupuncture can help you do just that. Hey guys, I'm Alex Hine, current doctoral student in traditional Chinese medicine. Now, let's talk about the very first thing here about how acupuncture and Chinese medicine can help you lose weight. The very first thing is that acupuncture can help moderate inflammatory markers. Now, in one study done here, 80 obese patients were divided into three groups based on their BMI. The patients had acupuncture for three to six months in addition to eating a lower calorie diet. Now, in these studies, the two biomarkers of inflammation were measured. CRP, which is C-reactive protein, and LDL cholesterol. Now, CRP dropped 25%, and other studies have shown similar changes in CRP from acupuncture. One study was done in the World Journal of Gastroenterology, and two others were meta-analyses. Now, even though this one showed weight loss and decrease in biomarkers of heart disease, this one was paired with a lower calorie diet, so it isn't as much a testament to acupuncture alone, but we'll talk more about some others. The second thing is that acupuncture increases intestinal motility and can raise serotonin levels. So in another piece of research profiled in the International Journal of Neuroscience, acupuncture increased neural activity in the hypothalamus, increased intestinal motility and metabolism, raised serotonin levels, increased tone in the smooth muscle of the stomach, and stimulated the vagus nerve. The latter two of these are associated with decreases in appetite. In addition to this, it was actually found to help with stress via endorphin and dopamine production. Now, building off of this is number three, which is that acupuncture may help reduce your appetite through vagal nerve stimulation. A study done in the Australian Family Physician Medical Journal found that acupuncture stimulates the auricular branch of the vagal nerve and raises serotonin. Now, both of these have been shown to increase tone in the smooth muscle of the stomach, which helps to suppress your appetite. The fourth thing is that acupuncture helps regulate those hunger hormones. For example, leptin and ghrelin are two hormones critical for signaling fullness and hunger in your body. Now, one smaller study done on auricular, which is ear acupuncture, had participants receive acupuncture once a week for a month, and then before and after their biochemical markers were noted. Now, only in the acupuncture group were decreases in ghrelin noted, whereas in the placebo group, there were strong increases in it. Now, the levels of other hormones like insulin, leptin, adiponectin levels did not change significantly in either group in this study. Now, the fifth thing is that acupuncture can help lower biomarkers of heart disease and inflammation. So in one study done on 196 obese patients, there were two interesting experiments done. In the first part of the study done over six weeks, the participants received acupuncture again in addition to a low-calorie diet. But in the second part, they received a low-calorie diet alone. And then afterwards, the researchers measured important biomarkers of cardiac health, CRP, cholesterol, triglycerides, and more. Now, the combined acupuncture and lower-calorie diet showed the greatest changes than the low-calorie group alone. Body weight decreased more, waist circumference decreased more, hip circumference, total cholesterol, and triglycerides. The sixth way is that acupuncture can help regulate your mood and thus also prevent binge and emotional eating. So in the case of the mood, Several studies have found that by increasing neurotransmitter release, acupuncture affects mood, which could obviously possibly improve the regulation of food intake. Now, what's interesting is that it may suppress the appetite by endorphin-induced decreases in stress and depression. So again, this particular link was through mood, through serotonin, and also through endorphins. And the seventh way acupuncture can help you is that it helps regulate proteins related to obesity. So a study done in the Journal of Homeopathy and Ayurvedic Medicine in 2013 found that electroacupuncture alone had a strong effect on cell signaling proteins related to fat tissue. Certain points here were electrically stimulated once a day for 30 minutes during 20 days, which produced a 4.8% weight reduction and a change in total cholesterol, triglycerides, and LDL in these obese women. There was also a significant decrease in lipoprotein A, suggesting that this may help for reducing risk factors associated with cardiovascular disease. So the bottom line with traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture is that, yes, it can both treat disease and treat illness, as well as back pain and digestion, and if you want to, just helping you lose weight. But in the grand scheme of things, the big picture is that, obviously, weight loss should occur in conjunction with healing, with being happier, healthier, more integrated, and the person should see a resolution of their health problems 
ideally before or at the same time that they're losing weight. But if you want, acupuncture here can help you in quite a lot of ways. Hey guys, it's Alex. I hope you like this video. The best way to stay in touch is to grab this free guide on my site on the five daily rituals to add 10 years to your life with traditional Chinese medicine. Come on over, click the monk to subscribe. So make sure you get the next video when it comes out. Watch the latest video right there and keep your eyes peeled for when my next video comes out.